Okay, I want to talk about For Honor and uh, and I want to talk about what I most enjoy this year of For Honor and some of my favorite year free heroes and I was inspired by some other YouTubers to do this video. Yeah, let's start with uh, my favorite year free hero, if I <laughs> only have one is uh, Sunda and I really like Sunda because of his uh, long uh, long sword the uh, um, Mao Dao and how he look uh, or they how they look the style and especially it's my favorite is his elite uh, out outfit with the mask it's one it's my favorite yeah and the other thing I really uh, enjoy uh, I think the best thing with uh, from it's like uh, from 2019 and with all the heroes and especially I think for me it's like also from year 2018 is uh, all the Chinese faction is a really enjoy but absolutely uh, Sunda is my favorite in year three and. Uh, the other thing I also also enjoy is absolutely the the when we get that mission uh, the em uh, emperor's is uh, escape is one uh, uh, very fun too to do to play <coughs> and this kind of thing. What I, yeah, the thing I look forward uh, to see in for in 2020 is uh, the two new hero and my speculation of them is one of them is going to be a Fink is going to be a Mongolian a warrior and the other one going to be a uh, inspiration from the Lubu in the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdom somebody with Lubu's kind of weapon, the Hillebard yeah and I think it's 2019 has been a very good year uh, with many different things uh, and yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Uh, one thing more is absolutely very nice with 2019 is the new uh, breach map for Sunda. It's I think it's absolutely the best uh, m uh, map ever made in For Honor. It's absolutely the the Chinese map. It's absolutely one of my favorites. It's the best. I think it's the best. And I think yeah, and. Well, more it really. I feel, yeah. And the other thing is also about what I also like is I think is I don't know if yeah. So Sunda is my favorite. Uh, I mean free and I think the, uh, if I have to choose, uh, like I think the second best is uh, is maybe Yomangander. Uh, yeah, I think Yomagander is my second favorite, and after Yomagander is uh, no, I I only f I think my only favorite is uh, yeah, Sunda and Yomagander is the only one I really enjoy. The other two uh, was as I yeah because because I like Sunda is because Sunda is uh, is my favorite for because I am a Wulin main. I like the Wulin the most. It's my favorite faction, and it's. I think that is the the best thing for I have ever done uh, is to create a Chinese faction and especially Sunda is a perfect uh, for that. I really like this. So that is maybe the best thing of the whole year in For Honor is when they make a Chinese map and uh, and f then you can as a player Sunda is absolutely the best thing uh, that was done do this year and yeah I don't really know I think there's more of it. yeah so yeah so there's lots of special many different things I don't know yeah this year and I it's very was very good year and there's many things is interesting I think Fron is a, is a very very good game and they have done lots of things to improve themselves in from year to year like more uh, uh, one new faction the Wulin and then the breach maps and other things like so many different things they have done 
to improve the game I think it's a very nice game and I think it's gonna be very very nice in the future I don't, don't know when but maybe in 2022 uh, we will see like maybe for honor 2 I think or 2023 sometime there we will see for honor 2 I think for honor 2 gonna be very very interesting with to see the all the new graphic the new factions and all that kind of things so for me it's like I think is I think it's good that they release two only two um new heroes uh for uh next year because I think if they save more time for Frona two and I think it's not so many f more if they put too many new like faction in this forerunner they will not have so many faction to put in the next forerunner. So I think that is um the best thing is absolutely when they're gonna release. I think the best thing they can do is what I think is maybe different from what other people think is if they release the two in, uh, last remaining uh, Wulin uh, uh, heroes uh, and then they put the join to Wulin can join the faction war as an, an official faction and that thing is the best thing they can do do. For and this kind of thing or maybe one new game mode and then they uh, sometime next game um, uh, st they when they announce games uh, this kind of thing uh, they can announce maybe a teaser trailer for Frontier 2 and this kind of thing for th this is the most thing I really look forward is Frontier 2 because it's um, yeah uh, and yeah and what's the last thing I think uh, let's see and it's gonna be I really I don't know what f here we're gonna get I have no idea we're gonna get uh, these two new heroes of the year of the reckoning year four and uh, the only thing I speculate that is the Mongol and uh, and Lubu is the only this is to I speculate about the is uh, maybe it's the, the two last woolen heroes if I really really don't want to see any more knight or vikings or samurai because th the knight and the samurai and the vikings have an, a complete uh, faction complete edition they have all of them have seven uh, hero each and the woolen only have uh, no sorry they have eight woolen only have uh, f uh, six, so I think Wulin deserve the most in two new as uh, as the complete. For they absolutely need two more to be exactly the same amounts of heroes as the other faction. Are yeah, and that is everything I really want to say uh, uh, about this year, and I hope everybody have a wonderful have a wonderful year and i yeah i wish you a good new year and this kind of thing yeah have a nice day bye and yeah and yeah before i forget is yeah